Hi, everyone. Welcome back to JSA TV live here from DCD, Virginia in Leesburg, just outside of Washington, D.C. We are here on day two covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from the digital infrastructure sector. Um, so we are joined today on JSA TV by leaders such as Andrew Roof, sales director from Genitza, a repeat uh, customer here at uh, JSA TV, a repeat guest. Um, so thank you so much for joining us again, Andrew. Oh, always a pleasure to be on JSA TV, as always. Yeah, thank you, Candace. <laughs> absolutely. So we'll just uh, jump right in, um, talk a little bit about um, some conversations that you've been having mm -hmm. uh, the past couple of days. So I know you just gave a talk on power quality effectiveness, like yep. data focused efficiency um, when it comes to data centers. Um, so can you just give the audience a little briefer on that conversation? Yeah, so it's a relatively new concept that we've been kind of uh, promoting from the Genesa standpoint. So mm -hmm. Genesa is a power quality focused organization. And one thing that we want our customers to utilize is the data that is being generated from our, you know, our equipment out there. So we monitor the power within a data center facility, within facilities in general, really. And the data that's being generated is, is quite critical information for the operations of a facility. And so if you take all this information and then you start making more informed decisions on the uptime of your facility, on the issues that are happening, then you can actually do, uh, your, your operation is gonna be a little more safe and a little more effective um, in, the, in the data center side of things. So power quality effectiveness, what it is is, Basically, you're taking all these uh, events that are happening in the facility, so you're going to have some uh, voltage spikes or under voltage spikes, all these different things that are happening in the electrical grid. Mm -hmm. They're just natural uh, anomalies that are happening in the electrical grid. And you're starting to monitor all those different pieces and start collecting that data. And it's really the number of times that these things are happening that you want to be more focused on from a long-term standpoint. If you're, if you're starting to get a lot of these events that are happening you know, 20 times a month, 20, uh, 100 times a year, whatever mm -hmm. it might be, you wanna start monitoring those events and utilize that as a baseline data point so that you can make better decisions to uh, you know, improve upon that, those, that performance. Yeah. So that is the power quality effectiveness uh, aspect there is you want to take this baseline of data and start mm -hmm. realizing, okay, I need, to, I need to make some changes to this equipment, I need to make some changes to this equipment, and then you can make some more informed decisions to lower the number of events that are happening over a longer period of time. It's a similar concept to power usage effectiveness, right? So power usage effectiveness, you're, you're taking a baseline data point, you're doing this equation of your kilowatt hours, and you have this output, this PUE output, let's say it's 1.5 or 1.2, whatever the data center is, that's your baseline metric point. And then you're taking that and you're trying to make improvements. You're trying to get more efficient on that PUE. Same thing with power quality effectiveness. You're, you're getting your baseline data points, you're seeing all these issues that are happening and you're trying to improve upon that within your facility. And the mm -hmm. whole output of that, the whole reason you wanna do that is to lower your downtime risks. Yeah. And that is the, the whole point of PQE is uh, no, power usage effectiveness, mm -hmm. it focuses on uptime of your mm -hmm. facility. It only it works, you can only calculate that when the power is running, but power quality effectiveness focuses on the potential downtime events that are happening. The yeah. So that is, that's BQE, that's power quality effectiveness in a very shortened version. There's a lot more to it though. Right. We <laughs> love an acronym in this industry. So PQE, oh, I know, I know. PUE, you're hitting on some good ones. Absolutely. Um, awesome. Okay. So outside of that talk that you gave, I know you've been having a lot of just interactions with folks the past couple of days. Right. Janitza has a great booth set up. If you haven't been there and you're seeing this live, go check it out um, right when you kind of walk into the exhibit hall. So you've been right. having some great conversations. So what it, what kind of pain points are, are folks bringing up to you? I actually had a really interesting one. It's a very common issue seeing a facility. I actually asked the data center uh, customer, they're, they're focusing on the construction side of things, finding the sites and doing the construction. I asked them, you know, what's your biggest pain point right now? And in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, what, what equipment, their delays, okay, what lead time is. And he looks at me and says, you know what? Finding power is one of the biggest issues. Now, that, that's not a new concept. That's actually a growing issue when you're trying to build new data centers is finding that right power. But that is really causing the industry to shift a lot more. One, you're starting to see more sites getting built in, in far distant locations than you were. Ashford, Virginia being here it was the core of this industry but it's maximized out. The, the Bay Area in mm -hmm. California was a big area, but it's maximized. There's no much more power in these areas. So you're seeing a lot more data centers being built in different locations because that's where the power is, right? I'm also seeing a lot more trends about uh, power generation aspects. Mm -hmm. uh, AWS just announced that they're gonna build three nuclear power plants in Oregon and Washington mm -hmm. area in order to fulfill their, their demand of power needs for their facilities. 
that's completely different. That's a whole different shift of the market that we're seeing as a trend for. They're going to start generating more power themselves mm -hmm. in order to continue this trend because data centers aren't going away. They're absolutely going to be needed for our technologies that we're using today. And the demand for that is, is so exponential. They're actually investing more money into power generation, more money into diversifying their locations so that they can build these data centers and keep their operations, keep their technology flowing there. Excellent. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's a great download of some of the key trends that, that you're hearing about on the yeah. showroom floor from this event. Um, you also mentioned earlier renewable power, renewable energy um, as another trend, I believe, that you're you're hearing more I'm, about. I'm starting to see more uh, renewable companies come to these events. Yeah. I actually met a guy yesterday, and uh, his focus is solar power plants. So they actually develop solar power plants for the data center industry. It was a fascinating conversation because they're actually doing the same thing. They're trying to find sites that can correlate with the data centers and build these solar power plants, backup battery systems, and correlate with the sustainability metrics of these data centers as well. And that, I think it was a great aspect because they're trying to help the cause. They're trying to help out the sustainability metrics of the organization by you know, building these clean power plants. They're trying to build them in locations where the data centers are going to be at or the interconnection points where they can actually provide the data to the interconnection so that the data center can also purchase that power directly from them. Oh, that was really fascinating. There's mm -hmm. actually a growing trend of renewable companies coming to these events as well. Yeah, absolutely. We're definitely seeing that as well. So excellent. Well, thank you, Andrew. It's always a pleasure to have you on JSA TV. Uh, I'm sure this will not be the last time. Sure. Um, and thank you, viewers, for hanging out with us here live from DCD, Virginia. Thank, thank you, you and happy networking.